Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. This is a video about measuring cells. I'm going to show you how to calibrate IP squared Q by using a stage micrometer. After that, we'll talk about magnification and resolution. Before we start, let me first explain why do we need to carry out the calibration. Imagine my camera lens is the eyepiece of a microscope. The floor is the stage. If I fit a ruler at the lens, can I use it to measure what I place on the stage? Now, let me put one of my shoes on the stage. The ruler is showing me that my shoe is less than 5 cm. Does that make sense to you? Is my shoe really that small? Of course not. The distance between the ruler and the shoe makes the skill on the ruler senseless. 1 mm on the ruler is not 1 mm on the stage. So, if I want to use the skill of this ruler, I must place another ruler at where the shoe is. I can use the second ruler to calibrate the skill on the first ruler. And this second ruler represents the stage micrometer. After the calibration, no matter what I place on the stage, as long as I don't zoom in and out, I can use the ruler at the lens to measure them. However, if I zoom in, I need to calibrate the ruler again, as its reading is now changed. So, when you are using the microscope, you have to calibrate the eyepiece reticule every time you switch from one objective lens to another. This is how an eyepiece reticule should look like. You can see its full scale because it is fitted at the eyepiece. It normally has 100 divisions. When you view a stage micrometer, you can only see part of it because it has been magnified. The stage micrometer we use usually have a smallest division of 0.1 mm. Align both of them and find out how many divisions on the stage micrometer does the eyepiece reticule fits into. In my example, the total length of the eyepiece reticule fits into two and a half divisions on the stage micrometer. Since each division on stage micrometer is 0.1 mm, 100 divisions on the eyepiece reticule is equal to 0.25 mm. Divide this value by 100, you will find out that each division on the eyepiece reticule is equal to 0.0025 mm or 2.5 micrometer. If you remove the stage micrometer and observe a specimen under the same magnification, you can now use the eyepiece to measure its size. For example, this plant cell takes up 22 divisions on the eyepiece reticule. 22 times 2.5 micrometer is 55 micrometer. So the length of this cell is 55 micrometer. However, if you change the magnification, you need to calibrate the eyepiece reticule again. Magnification is the size of an image of an object compared to the actual size. It is calculated using the formula magnification is equal to image size over actual size. Let's say the nucleus of this cell is 7 micrometer. How big this drawing is compared to its actual size? First, measure the size of the image. It is 17 millimeter. Convert this value to micrometer. Then, divide it by the actual size, and you will get the magnification of the drawing. Sometimes, a scale bar might be given. To find the magnification, you just have to measure the scale bar to get the image size. Divide this value by the actual size represented by the scale bar, and you will get the magnification of this drawing. When you have the magnification of a picture, you can calculate the actual size of an object by rearranging the formula. Actual size is equal to image size, over magnification. Measure the image size of the object, then divide it by the magnification, and you will get its actual size. When you are dealing with questions involving this calculation, do not change any of the unit into meter and work with it. As the unit of your ruler is millimeter, and the unit for cells actual size is micrometer or nanometer. Resolution is the ability of a microscope to distinguish two objects as separate from one another. The smaller and closer together the objects that can be distinguished, the higher the resolution is. So, if a microscope has a really small number for its resolution, it means it can distinguish objects that are really close together. So, it is a better microscope that can provide a clearer image. Resolution is determined by the wavelength of the radiation used to view the specimen. If the parts of the specimen are smaller than the wavelength of the radiation, then the waves are not stopped by them and they are not seen. Light microscopes have limited resolution compared to electron microscopes because light has a much longer wavelength than the beam of electrons in an electron microscope. 
resolution is half of the wavelength. Wavelength of visible light range from 400 to 700 nanometer. So, the maximum resolution of a light microscope is 200 nanometer. Anything smaller than 200 nanometer cannot be seen under the light microscope. Wavelength of electron is around 1 nanometer. So, the maximum resolution of electron microscope is 0.5 nanometer. This means any structures that are as small as 0.5 nanometer can still be seen under the electron microscope. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. See you again soon.